So the stove I put over here, we're just going to measure up once we get that pipe. We'll put in and then go up and I'll measure through the wall where we'll cut through the wall to put the chimney through.
chimney. And then we wrapped it around the insulation and we're gonna use some wire to, to wrap the wire around. And we twisted it and hopefully we'll be able to get it close enough so we can secure it into place. And then this will be done. That's a lot of insulation to get in there. stuff to get it secured but this is in and that's how that's looking it's gonna stick out and then I'm gonna insulate in here with this stuff and then we're gonna put some tin on the outside so against the wood okay this one's a little bit bigger so I'm gonna grab that one Uh, honey ball. Hi, goat. Here's the hole. We're gonna mark the inside. This is just so I know where the area of the hole is. Cause I'm gonna only cut the hole big enough um, for the pipe to go through. I don't want it any bigger. We want it nice and flush and neat and looking good. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Now that we got the marked, I'm going to mark it again, but this time I'm gonna measure from here to here and use that distance and make the circle. So, yeah. Hmm. 
I did it the wrong way. Let's redo it. Let's redo it. There we go. So, I did it the wrong way. Now it's mine. just so I know where to put the actual hole. Now, there's no messing this up, because if I mess this up, yeah. Okay, so I think the best thing to do is take that piece, the pipe that's going to go through there, Center it on this thing and trace it out. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll continue. New view. He's all wrapped up in a sleeping bag, nice and cozy. Unfortunately, it took a long time to get him there. So we're not gonna talk about that right now. But, we had some issues because I did not cut the whole crust right, and so it's not like perfect circles, but a circle hole. So I need a figure. I guess I'll measure that, the distance around there, and then go from there. Let's do this. Let's do this. From the bottom, let's measure from the bottom of the pipe. The bottom of the pipe to the floor is 20 and a half inches. So, I'm gonna measure from the bottom of the board to 20 and a half inches. Make sure it's in the middle. 20 and a half inches. So my pencil will work. Perfect. Now, from the wall, from the door wall, 18 and a little more. Don't open that one. 18 inches. 18 inches. Here. 11 and a half inches. Inches. So, I'm going to go 30 and a half on the dot, 
and mark the top. Now we got our holes. Now, now is the fun thing because we get to take the actual chimney pipe. Come on, buddy. And trace it. So, like this. Little pencil. There we go. Just mark all the way. that done it's ready to be cut now I'm probably gonna use a razor knife we'll see but hopefully hopefully a big hopefully it's in the right spot and it's gonna fit properly yeah anyway Perfect way to end the day. Really pretty sunset. 